stage, Coney Island Chris. Thank you, award-winning Larry Moss. Very jelly of that. I got out of my pocket. What? Okay. <laughs> Folks, my name is Coney Island Chris. Can you guys say, hello, Chris? Hello, Chris. Hello, everybody. Serious, because I got a lot to do in a short amount of time. I will be performing for you this evening a series of sideshow stunts. If you guys think you can handle it, can you guys handle a little sideshow? Yeah. Let's do it. Off comes the jacket, out okay. comes the ink, because that's how we do it in Coney Island. That's how we do it. Put this over here. Put Daddy's little helper in the back pocket. Yeah. Let me just tighten these up in case anybody's taking photos. <laughs> I just, I don't like needles. <laughs> I feel like I need the ink to be the bad boy of the sideshow. <laughs> well, I'm a bad boy. I, am, I know gang signals. I'm gonna demonstrate three right now. What's up? Yo, homie. Later. Those are West Coast gang signals. I Googled them. And, uh, all right, enough of that. Let's just do some sideshow stunts. All right, I'm going to start off with this. Your average everyday household mouse trap. <laughs> I'm going to take this mouse trap. I am going to set this mouse trap. And I am going to have this mouse trap go off on my tongue. Happy <laughs> Saturday night, everybody. Let's get crazy. <laughs> I can tell by the look in some of your eyes that a few of you are disappointed that I'm using this teeny weeny little mouse trap. Why, if you'd rather see me use the Big Daddy rat trap, let me hear you say supersize it. Supersize it! People are sick. <laughs> but I kind of like it. <laughs> Papa, teeny weeny little mouse trap. <laughs> Big Daddy Rat Trap. <laughs> Unless you're from New York City, then that's just a mouse trap. <laughs> the size of chihuahuas up there. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna make this statement. I really don't recommend many of you, especially I saw a few kids in the room. I would not try this. I am a trained professional. There's two <laughs> ways and two ways only to learn these old sideshow stunts. The first, from the old masters up in Coney Island, which is not the way I learned, and then the way I learned, the Online Sideshow Academy. Four weeks, $99, ka-ching, ka-ching, hello, twist and shout. All right, okay, so if you want some of this, I serious. So when that sucker slams down on my tongue, that's coming down with a lot of force and that could hurt my tongue. And I don't want it to hurt my tongue because I like my tongue. When I see ice cream cones, I say to my tongue, hey tongue, ice cream cone. And my tongue says, hey, did you say ice cream cone? I love ice cream cone. Give me some ice cream. What was that? I'm serious. I do not want this tongue being damaged. I go to the post office, I want stamps that I could lick. I, if I was a dinosaur, they would call me the Lickalotopus. And if you don't want to watch me do this, you don't have to watch. Cover your eyes. I will tell you when it's over. It will sound like this. It's over. It's <laughs> good now. Oh, just kidding. The last, last thing I need to do before I do this is play a little motivational music. Please, just give me one last second. <laughs> I do feel 
feel like a brief little demonstration is in order. So you guys can see with what kind of force that's going to snap shut with upon my tongue. Four set demonstration. Pretzel rod. I love pretzel rods. I love you pretzel rod. So brown and salty. Yo, I love, I lick that salt. Told you I like licking things. Here we go. That's going off on my tongue for your entertainment. Oh. Hashtag best night ever. Uh oh. Might have us a hot trap on our hands. Uh oh. Come on, Daddy. Oh. Yeah, we, we gotta straighten out that trigger pin. It's not really part of the show. It's for my safety. Just a part of my upper lip in Mexico once. True story. Going to the bullpen. <laughs> Yeah, always be prepared is right. <laughs> All right, here we go. The last thing I need to do, I, I promise I am doing this, I just remembered. How do you, I requested that I wear safety goggles in case of splatter. She doesn't want to get hit with a cleanup crust on the carpet. I like goggles. 